Chloe told me to turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Check.
Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic to which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, parents, guardians, family, the Board of Education members, and our entire Highland community. Welcome to graduation night as we celebrate the class of 2021. Before we get started, I would like to recognize a few people with us this evening sitting on stage. From our Board of Education, Mrs. Caitlin Hutchinson, Mr. Kevin McElroy, and Mr. Jay McMullen. From our central office, the Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Matthew Zuki. Our senior class advisors, and both from our history department, 
Mr. Todd Wonderland and Mr. Jeff Oberg. Our Educator of the Year from the World Language Department, Ms. Elizabeth McGrath. And your Vice Principal to the Class of 2021, Mr. Jones. Also sitting with the graduates from our Science Department, Ms. Dial. From our Math Department, Mr. Gratton. Our English Department, Ms. Brady. Our World Language Department, Ms. Frisch. From our Special Ed Department, Ms. Harris. From our Technology Department, Mr. Carvalho. And one of our special aides, Ms. Palmucci. I would also like to take a moment and thank our secretarial staff and maintenance department for all of their contributions to this evening's graduation ceremony, as well as our administrative team and teaching staff. Tonight, our graduates will be receiving a total of $7,021,034. So you all should be proud of yourselves for the scholarships you've earned after you depart Highland. With that said, let's begin. Tonight is going to be a great night. What a four-year journey this has been. Speaking of journeys, I'd like to give a special shout out to a great woman who spent 25 years of her life here at Highland teaching English, Mrs. Bonnie Brady. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at Highland, we want to thank Mrs. Brady for her service to all of her students over the years and wish her the best of luck in retirement. You will truly be missed by all of us. To our graduates, four years ago, you all entered Highland in 2017 as young, inexperienced freshman students. Over the course of time since then, so much has happened in this world, good and bad. I mean, and I absolutely hate to say this, during your freshman year, the Eagles actually won a Super Bowl for the first time ever. In 2019, the U.S. women's soccer team won the World Cup, and for the last two years, we have all dealt with the effects of COVID. Despite the virus that halted our society and world for months, the one thing it couldn't do is prevent you all from graduating tonight. <clears throat> Who knows what happens from here after you leave the grounds of Highland? Each of you will have your own separate journey with many obstacles in front of you. When I graduated from West Stafford High School in 1984, if anyone had said I would give him, excuse me, if I would be giving a speech at graduation in 2021 as the acting principal of Highland High School, I would have said that was going to be the biggest joke of all time. My entire family and friends would have most definitely said the same thing about me. When I left college, all I wanted to do was teach tennis professionally continue to build my DJ business, and call it a day. Nonetheless, this moment right now is part of my own personal journey. I am a son of a father who was a great, educator, excuse me, a great educational leader himself for many years. He began as a vice principal at Pensgrove High School and then excelled to being superintendent of both Paulsboro and Lower Cape May Regional School Districts. He not only taught me on how to be a man, but he showed me the right way to be a school leader. Whether you liked him or not, he always told it like it was. And everyone respected him. There was no time to be phony or fake to people or cave into anyone's own personal agenda for better or worse. He would always say to me that I need to be positive to everyone and to always be fair and consistent. As a young kid, it was natural for me to say, yeah, 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 dad, but you know what? He was right. He was and will always be a perfect role model to me, as all of your parents should be a perfect role model for you. Believe me when I say this, your parents know what is in the best interest of you. During my father's career, a few people come to mind that you might not know of, but I'm sure your parents and many adults sitting here tonight will recognize. One student was very familiar with him and often had visits to his office, 
and that was now turned movie star Bruce Willis from Pensgrove High School. During his time at Paulsboro High School, a few sports stars evolved into the history books of the NFL. Kevin Ross played for the Kansas City Chiefs, and who is now a Super Bowl winning assistant coach with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and Willie Flipper Anderson, who still holds the record for the most receiving yards in an NFL game for the LA Rams from way back in 1989 of 336 yards. A U.S. Assemblyman from New Jersey, Eric Simonson, came out of Lower Cape May. My father never knew at that time he would be dealing with students who became success stories in the movies, sports, or politics. Just as I stand here tonight speaking to all of you, no one quite knows yet what will be your success story, but you will definitely control your own destiny. Maybe some of you will become a doctor, a nurse, a lawyer, a teacher, a parent, and so on. Doesn't matter what you choose to do, whatever that path might be, I encourage you all to live by the four words that is still hammered into my head every day by my 82-year-old father, which is, do the right thing. What do those four words mean to you? What is the right thing? To me, doing the right thing is working to the best of my ability every day and being a great dad to my kids, Derek and Kayla. Nothing is more important to me than my two kids, and I know your parents feel the same way about you. The words, do the right thing, actually became the title of a famous movie made 30 years ago. This movie had a lot to do with some social injustices that still occur today. One of my favorite characters in that movie was named Radio Rahim. He always had a boombox blasting when some, excuse me, with some great music from Public Enemy when he walked around the neighborhood. But most importantly, he always wore two big rings, one on each hand. One had the word love, the other one had hate. In my opinion, we all need to show more love every day to one another, and we can all definitely stop the hate. I challenge all of you to show love every day to people you encounter. The more you show to people love, the more likely you will see, excuse me, will receive love back. Speaking of the word love, one person who loved all of you was your principal, Ms. Lisa Owen. She came to Highland in 2017 with all of you. Let there be no doubt, she always cared about your well-being and success. And although she is not on stage with me tonight, it was great having her come visit this morning and get a few moments to speak to all of you. To me and a lot of other staff members, she will always be your principal to the class of 2021. As I get ready to close, I can't believe this is my first time I have ever spoken at graduation in my 20 years here at Highland. No one knows a graduating class more than their vice principal. As I've always sat in these ceremonies for all this time, I thought it was a little odd that a VP never got a few moments to address their class. Well, as the acting principal, tonight is going to be different, and I am going to do the right thing. So students of the class of 2021, at this time, I would like to invite your vice principal, Mr. Jones, to come up and say a few words to the graduating class. Thank you, Mr. Strauss. Good evening, graduates, family, friends, alumni, board members, special guests, and administrators. You all are not gathered here this evening to hear from me, as we are here to celebrate these beautiful individuals and the culmination of their accomplishments over the past four years. So this will be brief. I started here with you in September of 2017 as a freshman administrator and instructional leader with the desire to help navigate students through high school, facilitate educational instruction and high academic achievement, and serve the class of 2021 so that we could realize this very moment, and here we are. You have taught me things about young adult development that cannot be learned in the classroom at principal school, and I will be forever grateful for the learning opportunities and lessons you have given me. It is my hope that you never give up on your dreams, aspirations, and goals, and that if or when you experience setbacks, you are able to view those occurrences as opportunities to learn and grow. 
Despite the many setbacks and losses you may have endured over the past four years, you have proven to be tenacious and determined to win. So keep winning, class of 2021, and know that you will forever be a part of my narrative as an educator and family of Highland Regional High School. I expect nothing less than success for all of you, and I'm humbled to have served you even up to this moment this evening. I did not smile much over the past four days, but I can smile now, and with joy in my heart, I can say, go Tartans, and congratulations to the class of 2021. I love y'all. And now you will hear from our class president, Mikey Martinez. To the class of 2021, aren't we all glad they weren't the class that had to do the virtual graduation? I do apologize ahead for all the cringy words I'm about to say, for it is a graduation where usually people would wince at the overuse of cliche. But here I go. Four years have quickly slipped under our noses, and it looks like it wasn't just me that blinked so many times to flash forward to this day. All the endless nights of painfully studying for a test and losing hair from all the stress that high school brings. Well, guys, we did it. We survived high school just like that. Freshman year, oh boy, was that year challenging. It was a year when we failed to understand the unpredictability of the future. Best friends become distant strangers as strangers become best friends. Numbers on test papers became the main source to succeed as genuine smiles gradually became fabricated. But somehow between fighting our own battles, we failed to realize how we slowly became adults. We became dependable, self-sufficient, and ambitious. We no longer were the hesitant freshmen that were too scared to touch the water, afraid of its death. We no longer were the kids that were frightened of how to face the struggles of today. We became individuals that we wished to be when we were little. Someone strong, someone brave, someone worth praising. And I'm sure you'll all join me in giving our sincere gratitude to all our friends, family, and teachers that help us along the way. But I must admit, high school isn't really what teen films were traded to be. I don't really remember a teen movie that included a pandemic in it, but all I can say is that High School Musical really got it all wrong. Because we don't really know ourselves yet at the end of high school. We still have a long road of self-discovery to walk upon, and high school was a major stepping stone that helped us shape a little bit of our identity. What we'll find during our stay in Highland Regional High School will different people with different aspirations. And slowly but surely, we became united by our differences, fears, and dreams. We became acquaintances, classmates, teammates, and friends. We may have lost precious people that should be here today graduating among us, but they are still with us. They live through our memories and perpetual love. I stand here today not to make my fellow classmates cry, but to say this. If you are fortunate enough to have someone here sitting next to you or seated a couple rows away from you that makes saying goodbye so hard to do, then congratulations, my friend, for you have truly lived your high school years the right way. I sadly don't have the superpower to predict where we all go from here, but what I do know is that we'll do just fine. The education and morals that we learn through our parents and teachers will forever be ingrained in our minds and will continuously push us to become better versions of ourselves. We just need to do one simple thing, which is not to forget. From the bottom of my heart, I wish that when we receive our diploma today, you think to yourselves that you wouldn't have done it any other way. I hope nothing but the best for my fellow classmates and friends. Make the most of it. Thank you, and for the very last time, go Tartans. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Board of Education Vice President, Mr. Jay McMullen. Good evening. Uh, what a great night. This has got to be one of the best weather-wise for in, in the 54 years of graduating classes out of Highland. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank all the moms and dads, grandparents, guardians, and brothers and sisters of our graduating class for all of your support. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been an easy two years for any of us. But class, you did it. You're here. And boy, you guys look great sitting out there together. And no masks. Amen. You're ready to move on to your next chapter of your life. I have a few thoughts for you to take with you. Remember this. Dream. And dream big. Because dreams are truly the seeds of reality. 
All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. That's Walt Disney. It's on your, your wall in the school. I didn't even realize it. Failing, I hate that word. I really believe that you either succeed or you learn. You fail only if you give up. Don't ever give up. Edison tried 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb. He didn't give up. Edison said he found 10,000 ways how not to create a light bulb. He didn't fail. He learned. When you fall, you got to get up. Never quit. And one last thing. When I was a young man about your age, my mom told me, son, time flies. It flies faster and faster each passing year. Boy, was she right. So don't waste time. Time is so precious. Time can't be replaced once it's gone. So use your time wisely. Dream, learn, and achieve. The class of 2021, I congratulate you, and may God bless you every day of your life. Thank you. I was informed a little earlier before coming out today that Mr. McMullen, our uh, speaker the moment ago, graduated 50 years ago today. So congratulations, Mr. McMullen, on your graduation. And although it wasn't from Highland, I know Highland is in your heart. I'm old too. Next, I'd like to introduce our salutatorian, Ms. Ayushi Joshi. Class of 2021, let's flash back just four short years ago. Our journey had commenced with the first day of freshman year as we frantically maneuvered through the crowded hallways with maps in our hands. This was merely the beginning, the beginning of endless memories we would make, the beginning of new friendships, and the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. These past four years have taught us invaluable lessons, laid a foundation for our future, and developed us into who we are today. We learned that it's okay not to know everything, for after many essays, we still don't understand all the components of MLA formatting. We learned the importance of teamwork, for productivity relies on it. But most importantly, we learned the values of staying true to ourselves for it has become the basis of our character. Most of us would not be here today if it weren't for the many people who helped shape our identity. Personally, I would like to thank my teachers, advisors, and friends who encouraged me to stand taller every time I fell. My sister, who never failed to support me through the good times and bad, and especially my parents, who have instilled values that continue to inspire me to last pap rally. At last pap rally. After countless late nights and consistent procrastination, we finally made it. We have succeeded in the most trying times, defeated challenges that seemed impossible, and even surpassed a global pandemic. But at times, we also made mistakes and experienced setbacks, sometimes ones that was not in our control. These could be as small as trying to access the pool on the roof, or something more impactful, like accidentally skipping an answer on a Scantron. However, our mistakes are not failures, and our failures are not mistakes. Instead, they are a foundation for our growth. Winston Churchill once said, success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. There is no doubt that we are defined by our successes and achievements, but it is also our mistakes that have led us to those triumphs. They give to us a moment of reflection where we can ponder upon the many lessons that can be learned, but only if we accept them, only if we openly welcome those failures and choose to perceive, persevere through the obstacles, that they will become triumphs. After tonight, once again, we will embark on a new beginning. 
All of us have the potential to find success and make it our own, but how we approach it will be up to us. Should we choose to accept, to reflect, to improve, know that the process might be marked with imperfections and self-awareness, but there isn't anything wrong with that, since it will ultimately bring out the best within us, because it only takes one moment, one moment for us to regain that strength, to give life another try, this time taking one step closer to success. Thank you, and as always, go Tartans. Great job, Ayushi. And now we're gonna have two speeches by our two valedictorians. First up, Erica Simmons. Good evening, everyone. I would like to speak on behalf of everyone by thanking friends, family, and staff for getting us through these tough times and for pushing us all to succeed. To both of my sisters, thank you for being my best friends and for believing in me. Freshman year, we were deemed a notable class that wasn't afraid to get involved in all of the activities Highland had to offer. Having been given that compliment, none of us got lazy or egotistical. We kept pushing to propel the school in every way we could. We made sure not to fall short of that compliment three years later. Now that being said, I have a question for all of my peers. Looking back on the past four years, what would you say was the number one lesson you've learned? For me, I learned to stand up for what is right despite potentially going against the majority. I used to get upset that I would be the only one standing up for something that I believe everyone should have a stance on. But as time went on, I learned not to be discouraged from staying true to myself my morals, and the code of ethics. Our class was challenged to uphold our morals and ethics as a multitude of historic events were imposed on us. A global pandemic, a president being impeached twice, the Black Lives Matter protests, and the storming of the Capitol building. Through all of that, we joined a, a nationwide conversation and brought awareness to the cruelties of this world in order to make an impact in our community as well as society as a whole. We use social media to uplift one another and join forces in order to try and bring change. We made sure to comfort each other during signs of adversity despite the prevalent division in our country. We stuck together. There will be people and situations that will serve as obstacles to prevent you from speaking up and advocating for what you believe in. You may be silenced or put down multiple times, but it's important to stand firm. Don't be afraid or intimidated by anyone to speak out and use your voice. Although students are considered young in the eyes of the system, we still are able to form our own thoughts based on injustices and know the difference between right and wrong, even if those who do not agree with us cannot see that fine line. Accountability is not limited by age. Accountability is a necessity when growing as an individual, no matter how old you are. And it is needed in order to make the environment conducive for the younger generation, like us, to move forward in making positive change. With change comes inevitable mistakes, but you cannot become a slave to your own ego and have your pride get in the way of learning your lesson and growing. Tyler, the creator, once said, whatever you run from, you end up chasing. And with that, if we don't confront problems face to face and resist the urge to settle and conform, then there will always be a continuation of a cycle that leads to turmoil. We should remember to persevere, stand up, speak out, even when the odds are against us. We will always make mistakes, and mistakes will be made by others who do not take responsibility for their actions. This is when we will need to remember to take accountability. Class of 2021, congratulations, good luck, and go Tartans. Good job, Erica. And at this time, 
I'd like to bring up the co-valedictorian, Mr. Conway Zhang. The others have already thanked the teachers and parents for helping us grow and become responsible adults. That's a given. But I believe the friends that we see every day in school are the ones that make our high school experiences memorable and tolerable. The fun banter and jokes shared between friends in a classroom make coming to school every day enjoyable, especially after the quarantine last year. And I want to personally thank all my friends for being accepting of me. They never judge me despite all the questionable things I say or like and allow me to be me every day. We may all be in different classes, clubs, or activities, but we are all still kids. Every student here today has lots of things in common. We make immature jokes, say inappropriate things, talk loudly during class, procrastinate until the very last minute. Sometimes we straight up ignore the due dates. And starting this year, sleep in Zoom classes. I am no exception to this either, and neither are my AP, fellow AP students and classmates. A teacher recently joked saying I have been MIA in my Zoom classes. Nah, I've been MIC, missing in consciousness. <laughs> if someone who doesn't know me sees how I act outside of school, they will be shocked to know that I am one of today's valedictorian. Valedictorian makes me sound like I'm the smartest or most capable kid in this class. But tell me to cook dinner for myself and I will be stumped. The best I can do is boil instant noodle or microwave banquet meals from the dollar store. Sure, I can memorize a few formulas or equations, but I can't read a music sheet or remember the lyrics of a song. I don't know how a game of football or basketball works. I don't even know how to throw a football. Memorizing some letters and numbers is nothing compared to kids that can perform and act out a dance routine or a whole play. I'm not even in a tech squad, so don't ask me to fix your computer. And if you, and if you ask me for a ride, the only road I know is Blackwood Clemson Road from Highland to ShopRite. Some of you are, are responsibly and busily working at a job after school. Meanwhile, I lay in bed all day because I can't muster enough courage to even apply for a job. What I, what I am trying to say is that we all have different strengths and weaknesses. We may have similarities in how we act and behave, but we also have our own differences that can't be compared to someone else. My report card says nothing of my drawing abilities. Neither do they say anything about other people's athletic or music abilities, that which I'm so jealous of. Just know that you guys are graduating today better than your friend at something. Period and go Tartan. All right, great job Conway, great job Erica, and great job Ayushi. Those were some great speeches. At this time, we're going to have a song sang by Angela Wrigley, Cecilia Foster, Joseph Zane, and Emily Hicken.
Great job. So when you don't speak in 20 years, you forget things. And I think I forgot to thank a couple people. So I'd just like to take a minute and uh, 
thank our secretarial staff and maintenance department for all their contributions to this evening's graduation ceremony, as well as our administrative team and teaching staff. Without all of you, tonight's event wouldn't be possible. I'd also like to recognize two students, if they would stand, who have committed to the military. Summer Janair, who is committed to the Marine Corps. And Kyle White, the Navy. Thank you both for your service. At this time, we're going to talk about the Renaissance Award. This is chosen by teachers and administrators for the student who epitomizes what it means to be a successful Highland student. The student excels academically, is involved in multiple activities, and is an exceptional school citizen. This year's recipient is a member of multiple activities the National Honor Society, the African American Appreciation Club, Key Club, Peer Mentors, Pep Band, Track, Eboard, Vocal Resolution, Battle of the Books, Steam Academy, Green Team, Band, Choir, World of Difference, Academic Challenge, and Tennis. Our Renaissance Student of the Year is Miss Erica Simmons. All right, we're getting to the most important part of the program. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Matt Zuki. I know what everybody's thinking, and that is uh, another speech I have to listen to, but the uh, good news is that when I'm done with this, you're gonna be graduated. So, after all those years of working hard, you finally made it tonight. This is it, graduation. You know, I graduated from Highland, and I taught at Highland, too, and I've worked in this district for 26 years. I graduated 35 years ago, and, I, and believe it or not, this right here is my yearbook from 1986. I brought it here today, as you all witnessed earlier, um, there's a, there's a teacher who is retiring tonight, or today, I mean, this year, sorry, Mrs. Brady. And she was in my yearbook as a teacher, and she forgot to sign it. So I brought this yearbook here tonight for her to sign for me. So I took my yearbook, and I looked through to see if there was anything that happened when I graduated that compared even a little bit to what you went through this year. Well, in 1986, in my yearbook, it says that the space shuttle Challenger blew up that year. That's the shuttle that took up the first teacher. I don't want to say that was trivial. It was quite a tragedy when it happened, but in no way in comparison to what you went through this year. That was nothing. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. You finished. I always thought life is supposed to get better and easier as time goes on for each generation. But, well, maybe next generation. No, you've pulled through. And much better times are on the horizon. I just know it. And it's hard for me to come up with some advice for kids who did all the right things this year. That's you. But I always like to look at data and statistics to see who's here tonight. So here are a few, some pointless facts about the people sitting out here on the uh, field tonight that are graduating. First, I don't know if you know it, but there are three students in the crowd here tonight that are graduating who are only 16 years old. I'm not going to call them out, but I know who they are. The most popular name graduating tonight is Emily. There are six of them. And that name was the number one for girls from 1996 to 2007, which is when you were born. In that range, not in 2007. The most popular boy's name graduating tonight is Matthew. And that's my name. There are five Matthews graduating here tonight. 
Um, and it was one, it's been one of the most popular boy names of the last century. The most popular month of the year for these kids to have been born was July 2003. 29 of them were born that month and year. And 36 kids on, this, on the field tonight were born in July. That's 13% of the class. It's twice statistically uh, what you would expect. Some students here tonight took and passed a collective 42 college courses already at Camden County College. And at the high school itself, this group of kids took and passed this year 1,889 courses during the pandemic. You can see I like looking at data. And I have to give a shout out to this statistic. They were taught by and cared for by 120 dedicated and tired educators and administrators, as well as 69 support staff. You have to give them a round of applause. And finally, all 100% of the students sitting here tonight will be graduated in about two minutes. So I leave you with a quote from a famous comedian. Never follow anyone's path. Unless you're lost in the woods and you see a path, then definitely go and follow that path. So I want to thank you very much for this opportunity, and I want to congratulate the class of 2021. I hereby certify to the members of the Board of Education that each and every student here has successfully completed all the requirements for a diploma as stipulated by the Black Horse Pike Regional School District Board of Education and by the State Board of Education. It is with pride and pleasure that I present to you the Highland High School Class of 2021. Okay, and now I would like to begin by handing out the diplomas for those here on stage. First, graduating with honors, valedictorian Erica Simmons. Graduating with honors, valedictorian Conway Zhang. Graduating with honors, salutatorian Ayushi S. Joshi. And your class president, graduating with honors, Mikey Alessandra Martinez. Graduating with honors, Nusra Ahad. Graduating with honors, Adam Andrew Aguilino. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Paige Elise Bell. Graduating with honors, Thomas Joseph Bowen IV. <laughs> Savannah Leah Brennan. Graduating with honors, Lacey R. Bryan. Graduating with honors, Kelly Morgan Bubzer. Graduating with honors, Jaslyn A. Carmichael.
Graduating with honors, Emma Olivia Cavallero. Graduating with honors, Olivia Lynn Clark. Graduating with honors, Micaiah Cassidy Clark. Graduating with honors, Michael D'Amico. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Joseph Michael de Beaumont. Graduating with honors, Haley E. Del Percio. Graduating with honors, Anthony Dominic Deneo. Graduating with honors, Kanai J. Dismiss. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Skylar S. Dixon. Graduating with honors, Tamina Y. Isha. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Paige Nicole Engelman. Graduating with honors, Carly Faith Enley. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Sydney Faye Engelman. Graduating with honors, Connor Gerard Evangelista. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Sophia Jewel Felice. Graduating with honors, Kylie Ann Flight. Graduating with honors, Cecilia Elizabeth Foster. Graduating with honors, Joshua Adam Franco. Graduating with honors, Madeline Joyce Froyo. Graduating with honors, Marissa R. Fuchs. Graduating with honors, Kristen Q. Gallus. Graduating with honors, Caitlin Goodman. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Cameron C. Gravely. Graduating with honors, <laughs> Graduating with honors, Jeffrey Paul Greiner. Graduating with honors. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Andrew Helmuth Grunwald. Graduating with honors, Lila Jace Hagerman. Graduating with honors, Henry Hernandez. Graduating with honors, Emily Patricia Hicken. Graduating with honors, Alphalyn Jallo. Graduating with honors, Niaja P. Jennings. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Winston B. Jordan. Graduating with honors, Brianna J. Delaney Jules. Graduating with honors, Lily Kaczynski. Graduating with honors, Eo Matios Kabede. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Kylie Catherine Kopsar. Graduating with honors, Alexa Elizabeth Kulik. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Macy Bridget Lakowitz. Graduating with honors, Miriam Maddy. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Todd R. Maller. Graduating with honors, Gina Arisha Marciello. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Aaron Elizabeth McCarty. Graduating with honors, Cheyenne M. Miller. Graduating with honors, Alyssa Rose Mitchell. Graduating with honors, Carlos Molina. Graduating with honors, Nina Marie Munciello. 
Graduating with honors, Sidrachol Muntaha. Graduating with honors, Jordan Alyssa Murphy. Graduating with honors, Michael J. O'Hanlon. Graduating with honors, Kara Lynn Otero. Graduating with honors, Vivi Patel. Graduating with honors, Sarah Patterson. Graduating with honors, Emily Elizabeth Pildes. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Caitlin Pounce. Graduating with honors, Thomas William Ross. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Alexander Joseph Reeves. Graduating with honors, Victoria Rose Riles. Graduating with honors, Chloe Marie Samevo. Graduating with honors, Stephen Paul Sherrill. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Caitlin Elizabeth Sinclair. Graduating with honors, Alexa Carolyn Smith. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Ian James Sinclair. Graduating with honor, Sammy Solomon. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Tyler Adam Stevens. Graduating with honors, Madison Grace Strauss. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Narina M. Tramp. Graduating with honors, Antonia Gianna Venuto Gabriella. Graduating with honors, Mahajbin Wara. Graduating with honors, Lindsay Ann Ford. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Abigail Catherine Webb. Graduating with honors, Kyle Stanley White. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Ariana J. Williams. Graduating with honors, Veronica Lee Williams. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Angela Renee Wrigley. Tiana M. Acevedo, Anthony Michael Aquarolo. Ezra Akram, Brittany Elizabeth Albaran. Derek K. Almore Jr., Mason Michael Amanto. Graduating with honors, Nicholas Joseph Achenbach, Brian R. Austin. Evan Michael Baldwin, Silvio Francis Garcia. Emily Cynthia Barker, Benjamin Edward Bard. Adam Barker, graduating with honors, Nyeri A. Bartley. Raheem Jamal Bass, graduating with honors, Matthew Baradi. Sean Ryan Berry, Ryan Biciada. Emily Bishop, Glenn E. Blessing.
Graduating with honors, Christopher Lawrence Booz. Graduating with honors, Mark Anthony Brooker. Brianna Belmont, Destiny Ann Brody Graham. Kyle Robert Callen, Samira P. Callender. Harrison Edward Campbell, Nicole Marie Carley. Hector A. Castillo, Lola A. Clark. Shania Monet Clark Peoples, Amaya Coles. Graduating with honors, Ian M. Collins, Alexa Irene Conti. Graduating with honors, Brendan Michael Corcoran, Gabriel Crespo. Graduating with honors, Nicholas Patrick Crew. Graduating with honors, Aliyah M. Cruz. Nathaniel A. Cruz, Elias Cruz. Ethan L. Dean, Carolyn M. Bielusi. Alina K. Diaz, Gianna Elise Diaz. Lucas Romeo De Palma, Alexis Nicole De Martinez. Taraji Kanik Doily, Mikhail Joshua Dixon. Justin Christopher Eggleston, Owen English. Janaya L. Uri, Naomi I. Ferrier. Bryce Elisario Fournier, Alea Yolanda Freeman. Hector L. Garcia, Michaeli Gardner. Summer Rose Janeri, Kayla Z. Gibbs. Shamaya Gordon Lopez, Haley Marie Gorman. Andrew A. Grace, Camille Alia Harrison. Dylan C. Herbert, Juan P. Herrera Riano. Maurice Haywood, Matthew Tyler Hokey. Tyrese Haywood, Cadence Howell. Graduating with honors, Nicholas David Appalucci, Deborah Jackson Williams. Bria Johnson, Naiwan P. Jennings. Marvin Wesley Johnson Jr., Nyla Lynn Johnson. Ariana Nicole Jones, Bashir Aaron Jones. Myera Brianna Jones, Sean Patrick Villanua Juan. 
John Anthony Keyes, Jeremiah King. <laughs> Kayla M. Cook, Abdul Kader Kurdi. Wyatt Scott Kurtz, Liam Lamena. Devin Lawville, Rachel M. Lazat. Jordan Madden, Aliyah Madkiff. Amedio A. Mariani, Ivante Joe Mar. <laughs> Sophia Marie Mara, graduating with honors, Cameron Frazier Martin. <laughs> Emily L. McBride, Jayla Renee McCall. Cody, James McGordy, Robert and McKinney. David Mendez, graduating with honors, Nabria Merchant. Imari M. Miller Johnson, Zania Morris. Santino A. Morelli, Miles Murphy. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Matthew Elijah Negron, Colin Newcomb. <laughs> Aliyah J. Noir, Justin Nichols. <laughs> Guy Edmund North, Graduating with honors, Catherine C. Nuaga. <laughs> Juliana Antonella Pacioco, graduating with honors, Immaculata C. Nuaga. <laughs> graduating with honors, Kushi B. Patel, Brian Patterson. Sienna H. Pereira, Mayan U. P. L. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Emily S. Poligno, Jasmine Portal. <laughs> Jemiah C. Pratt, Chris Karib Gulage. Annalise Jeanette Ramos, Kayla Marie Ramos. <laughs> Matthew Joseph Petrangolo, Miles Vernon Randolph. Graduating with honors, Alexis N. Ranesis, Tezana Aliyah Reiki. <laughs> Ryan H. Reading, Hamza Rahman. <laughs> Ayana Rhodes, graduating with honors, Daniel Robeson. Malachi Rhodes, Jasmine Imani Marie Robinson. Caitlin Roloff, Julian Eloy Rowan.
Paul Rudinsky, graduating with honors, Jafon Jordan Samuel. Jason Kenneth Sayers, Anaya Jade Shell. Graduating with honors, Tristan Sepulveda. Graduating with honors, Fian Falua Shitu. James A. Silvanio Jr., Caleb Sleaf. Aaron M. Smith, Devante J. Smith. Grace Vivian Smith, Lewis M. Smith, Jr. Joseph D. Samara. Graduating with honors, Feishayo Shomoye. Joshua Alston Speaks. <laughs> Kayla Spera, Imagine Stillings. Bless A. Saniba, graduating with honors, Nicholas Terragina. Charles A. Thomas, Desiree Tolliver. Graduating with honors, Thomas Jacob Tome, Kylie Alexandra Topolowski. Emily R. Tornator, Jasmine Torres. Edward R. Vigiano, Brandon G. Wade. Cole William Wassell, graduating with honors, Selena Armenia Watford. Janelle Kelly Wegar. Floyd A. Whitaker. Alexandria Joy White. Eric Wilson. Graduating with honors, Jordan Wilson. Joseph Charles Zane III. Julian Zapata.